welcome back everyone and happy Tuesday. Now, right now, current temperatures across the Rio Grande Valley are technically in the 90s, but because of the humidity, it actually feels a couple degrees hotter than that. And the reason why we're hot and dry is because of an upper level high pressure ridge that is in the Rio Grande Valley. Now, that's the reason why it's hot, it's dry, and we're gonna continue to be in the influence of this upper level ridge for tomorrow. And then another high pressure system is going to settle in within our region and that's exactly how we're going to continue to see these hot muggy conditions for these next couple days and you can expect a slight warm up as well so later on this afternoon uh, during the hottest time of day you can expect those feel like temperatures to continue to be in the triple digits but some of us could actually reach feel like temperatures up to 114 degrees and that's exactly why most of us across the Rio Grande Valley are under that heat advisory from 1 to 6 and don't be surprised if we do get more more heat alerts uh, starting tomorrow really and these next couple days as we head into the weekend and we are seeing some talk of an excessive heat warning for the weekend so just take that in consideration especially if you do have plans to do some traveling since it is a longer weekend because of Memorial Day or even if you have plans to go out to South Padre Island. Now we did talk about some heat safety tips but another thing that you also have to consider or keep in mind is some signs of heat related illnesses and here's a closer list of what to keep in mind these next couple days. So if you are experiencing some headaches, dizziness, a lot of sweating, weakness, elevated body temperatures, and a lot of thirst, that could mean uh, you need to slow down, uh, you need to take plenty of breaks, drink a lot of water. Just listen to your body these next couple days because we're going to continue to see hot, muggy, and hazy conditions for these next couple days. And getting a closer look at those temperatures, now we're technically still going to be in the upper 90s to low 100s. However, as we head toward the weekend and for this upcoming work week, you can expect those temperatures to actually reach the triple digits. But remember, we still have to combine the humidity. So the feel like temperatures are actually going to be a little bit high up there with just compared to the low 100. So again, just hot, humid, muggy, uh, and just keep a close eye these next couple of days, not only for yourself and your body, but for your kids, for your mm -hmm. elderly, for your pets because yeah. if you're feeling these hot, unbearable conditions, so are they. 